Hello everybody, my fellow hunters and hunters, welcome back to the lodge and welcome back to part 3 of Rise of the Tomb Raider. If you remember right, the last episode was having a wander around the wilderness and we got past our friendly neighbourhood bear. Now we're on our way to the installation but first off we've got to get through this rocky icy glacier so yeah so let's get started. I'd like to thank you for everybody for the support on the previous episode, it is appreciated. Okay, so we've got that, we've got a tomb nearby, they're always fun, so we'll see if we can crack that. A Byzantine war galley. How the hell did it get down here? stuck in the middle of the glacier. I'm guessing that's where our uh, tomb is so we can make our way along. Here, I must be close to the lost city. Salvation misses were next to valuable. So this is it in the entry for the tomb here. So go along, see what there is. Stuff it in there. Ice ship, here we go. Must be something up there. The Maria Dula. Hold our bit out and crack point. So we can't climb there because that's good by ice, so let's see what happens when we turn the wheel. Now to find out what's up there. Yes. And look, we 
again. And then we are. Let's see what goodies are in the First, I've got some coins. Look at all this. Why were they carrying so much wealth with them? Could be pirates. No, no, I said Mongolians. But could be doing riches. So we haven't missed now about where we started, so that's good news. We've got the big document here. This codex details the archery techniques of the foes of the Byzantine Empire. New skill master, ancient abilities. Quickly shoot to two successive hours without the lay redrawn from a quiver. Rapidly fired by quickly pressing and releasing RT after the first hour is shot. So that's that tune complete. It's done. It's done. We'll die here thanks to Corodius and the madness of the Order of Trinity. My ship will never see water again. We entered the glacier sea too far into the winter without be without a turn back. But Corodius would not abandon his lost prophet. He and his dead eyed warrior seized control. He forced the ship through shallow tributaries until we could not go no further. Then he made my crew construct sled runners and the bastard forced us to tow the ship over land. It was death and excommunication to deny him. But it, w it was death either way. I will make sure he dies here with us. I've always kept a little poison at ready in case the ship was taken. Now it has another use. So it's like they all turned against each other. So we've got one more document in the night to find. Well, here's a relic anyway, so we'll go around so we know where that is. And off we go. <laughs> a Byzantine brooch. The enamel work is beautiful. This portrait has been defaced. It looks like it was depicting the prophet. They must have had to hide their faith. Yeah, or hide the fact that he looks a lot like somebody we know, eh, didn't we? Can't show his true face because that's a bit of copyright. <sighs> here comes the document up here, so we'll be getting 100% in this area, hopefully. So I've got two round of poison now. Okay, here we go. <coughs> Some coins. Is this for me? I've got to go and ask for a minute in the cold bit of water. Madman continues on, I don't know what drives him. We pass through a frozen mound at the edge of the world. His people are dying. Every day I pass graves or bodies left along the faint trail. I've grown thin and hard, but I'm close now. My horse is dead. The bear that had been with me since the campaigns against the Bulgars. I butchered her and carried the meat on my back. I am so close. I can hear them singing just over the ridge. A joyous sound on the wind. The prophet will be dead within a week, and I will return to the order of duty triumphant. Just one more day, and I will be upon him. Yeah, I've got a funny feeling that one didn't happen. <laughs> so now we can trace level one Russian. So that's 
should be, yeah, so got 100% on that one now, so let's just keep going. Then. Don't need to worry about looking for stuff. That should be, should be on the installation. Yeah, here we go. The Soviet installation. That's a bad thing right there. I am not your enemy. That remains to be seen. You killed those men back there. I killed them to survive. I suspect you did too. How long have they been here? Days, at most. The invaders took many of my people prisoner. You should leave this place before it's too late. I can't do that. I came here for something important. So did they. If I see you again, I'll put an arrow in your throat. You and I are on the same side. I hope I can prove that to you. What's going on down there? Who? Okay. So, there are people who live out here, and they appear to have been here for a very long time, living in isolation for decades, maybe even centuries. I notice elements of her dress, small adornments that would not have been out of place in the Byzantine Empire. Could they possibly be descendants of the Prophet's people? How much do they know about the lost city or the divine source? It's clear Trinity will do anything to find out. I'm afraid that whoever they are, they're in grave danger. Let's hope the old proverb about the enemy of my enemy remains true. tool to do that and that's just clear so right let's get carrying on then I say this is one of the biggest areas in the game I think if I remember right there's quite a bit to explore a few challenges to do so yeah we could be we'll be on this area for quite a while then we'll probably have to come back a bit so that was lucky so that's one of them anyway I think yeah, that was a one of 21 survival catches. Right, let's start our way down now. Caves in the Soviet Union. So there's five caves to find, right? Okay. Let's 
say the flame makes a bit part of this insulation area. Cocos of Nesia, the astronomer. So we've got a level three Greek. So I got lost and found that way. Found the two. Give it a good push. One of four for Agent Bowl. Does that mean complete the crit? Yeah. So we'll see if there's anything else to start to drop down a bit there. A prophet was of his followers. Cocos, Cocos of Nicaea was one of prophets first, branded a heretic in his own city. Cocos joined the pilgrimage north, his knowledge of the stars held guide the way. It is said that Cocos and the prophet would sit for hours under the stars, debating the nature of the universe and man's fraught place within it. For the prophet, he built the ray of planets and stars so that even during the dark and windy may gaze upon the night sky. Yeah, so that's that sound. So that's where we came from. That's where we dropped back down again. So let's go back around this way. I think we found everything here now. Back up. Yeah, let's 
get back on. Of course, you get into the actual main area. First day in Siberia and it First day in Siberia and it happens two years in Afghanistan and another in Indonesia and nothing. But one day out here in the ice and pop, I get killed, watch the man's eyes so glassy as he begged me for something, not Russian, no clue. I waited with him and watched, one minute he was there, the next nothing, just meat. Got sick on the snow, all mixed in with the kid's blood. But he just meat now and I'm alive. Constantine keeps telling us you're out here for a special reason. Tell us we're going God's work. I'm starting to see that now. Yeah, what a crap pot. Just got word. Constantine is on his way down from the prison. We need to get this mess in order before he arrives. Hey, can anyone... Good day, good night. Go to sleep, son. Never seen anything like that. Crazy son of a bitch. Rushing three armed men with an axe? I don't know how they managed it. Hang on. I'll go look. Stay alert. You hear that? I'll go look. Roger that. <laughs> Something's up. <sighs> Gotta be this way. flashing somewhere here. Can't be the tree. There's more of them arriving. Until we get someone out here to shut that pump off, I want those crates as far away from the fire as possible. Double time. There's ammo in there, and we can't afford to lose it. I haven't heard any shots for a few minutes now. I think we're in the clear. Don't count on it. Stay alert until we get the cons re-established with the prison. We're on our own out here. That was Constantine's chopper. What the hell is he doing down here? Not for me to say. It took one of the natives alive to question him, but it cost us three men. I'm guessing command wants to know what they find out. Constantine expects more from us. Now someone's gonna pay for that mistake. Prioritize the live rounds. Keep them separate from the rounds. Got a feeling we'll want those in easy reach. Yes, sir. Shit. Most of these rations were burned in the blast. <laughs> I think this one's a loss. We should set traps around the perimeter.
Hmm. An old Soviet plaque. Lenin lived. Lenin lived. Lenin will live forever. This was supposed to be a routine op. The path is never easy. The Trinity expects us to walk it all the same. I'm. I'm. No, I've taken some jobs of questionable legality, and I know you're not happy about it, but I couldn't pass up this contract. Been trying to get work with Trinity for years. They're discreet, the pay is obscene, and they always have opportunities. Now here I am, and already I want out. We're an abandoned Soviet installation in the middle of nowhere. No one selling us low level contracts is what's going on, but I think I might be helping some serious scary people get a nuke or something equal awful. Honestly, that's the best case scenario. Pig me back if you get this. I've carved out a secure channel on the network. For an operation like this, you'd think they'd be a better security, but I guess that's why they hired me. So some people like think get a bit of a conscience. Come on, round we go. We've got one there. for an art pistol pack, right? Here you go. Just checking. No, I don't think we've missed much there. So, we do it. I've got a feeling there'll be somebody up here. Let's see if I can see graphics. So good on very high, let's try on high. No, that's better. Now we're getting sixty frames. See what we got on here. Two cents, so we got a burn now. Slowly as we go, because we don't know 
lose that. That's it. We're out of time. Shoot him. He'll talk or he'll bleed out. You think I can do that? Ooh, get our first pistol. Put a bullet in this fucking savage. Now. Uh, got shot. Awful way to go. Clock's ticking. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Can we now go in there? Not just you, your whole family, everyone. They'll all die slow while we watch. They have him imprisoned. <coughs> God, God. Oh no, 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 no. So we need a lot of to get these done. So that's why the little reason why we have to do that. How's it looking? Nah, I'm not sure I can stop the leak. This doesn't work. We'll have to crimp the pipe until we get a new valve. Not sure we'll be able to find spare parts out here. I left you in charge here. Yes, sir. But we didn't expect such heavy resistance. You were to be my eyes. I expected you to see. You must know what is at stake with this operation. Yes. No. No. You don't. No. How could someone like you... Go easy. Go easy. Don't fear the suffering. Our goal is within reach, but we must be vigilant. If we succeed here, a new world awaits. One of our own making. Constantine, you're needed back at the prison right away. We've got a captive who might know something about the artifact. Remain faithful, and you will share in the glory of the Divine Source. Yeah. What a sad path. What do we do with him? No. Nobody touch him. Looks like we got another fuel leak. What the hell happened? This thing is 50 years old. Yeah, it looks like the valve failed. All right, let's get it shut. We can't afford to lose any more after that attack. Okay, I got this. Show yourself. There! Open up! Yeah. Oh, oh, God! Ah. Well, that 
worked out as much as not worse than I thought. So I'm guessing that's what we need, you see. I see, that's the way to get out, I think. More Soviet propaganda. Night won't prevent us from working. Ooh, so close level two. So we can't go in there. Constantine is here, the man who tried to kill me in Syria. He's violent, dangerous, but worse, he appears entirely devoted to his misguided beliefs. I seem to have a habit of running afoul of religious zealots. I suppose it all goes with the territory. His men on the radio mention a prisoner with information. Could it be one of the natives I've encountered? And if so, what does he know? Trinity will not be kind in their methods. Perhaps I can find him. Find out what he knows. Earning the trust of the locals might prove useful. guys with 38 minutes so I'll leave it there thank you very much for joining me joining yeah joining me for this episode hope you've enjoyed it so next time I'll move well into the sort into the installation like I said I think there'll probably a few episodes in this area because it's quite a big area to explore so yep yeah, see you again in the next one thank you for joining us and see you in the next one bye for now <laughs>